What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, PowerfulRelationships.co. Visit my website to check out any of the blog posts that I put there. And if you need any specialized coaching, that's all there too. Um, you can also please go to my Instagram, follow me there, and I will do, um, I usually once per week, uh, maybe twice per week, I'll do free coaching on there and then I do live calls as well. So make sure that you're there for all those so you get all the information that you need so we can move you forward in the best position. And if you feel like you um, want to donate or anything like that, just um, there is a going to be a link in my description somewhere for that. Um, I don't really care about that. I just want to make sure that you guys get the information that you guys want. But I have people messaging me saying, like, how can I donate to you just a little bit here and there? Um, uh, so I want to have that information present for you guys so you guys can have access to that. OK, this video is going to be called I made a video close to this already but I want to sort of go into a little bit more detail about it so the video title is I broke no contact am I screwed no you're not screwed but you are creating what's the word I'm looking for you're creating you're making yourself look like a weak bitch so yeah, it's harsh, but I don't fucking care because you need to get this information through your head because if you don't do this correctly, you're going to lose this person permanently, okay? If you keep breaking no contact, you're disrespecting their space. I've said this before. Now, that being said, you still have time, especially if this person was with you for a long time and they kind of like still show you some interest. You're not... You know, you're not below five on that on uh, sorry, you're not below 50 on the on the scale of 100 yet. You are maybe in the 55, 60 range. But the more you break contact, the lower that number is going to get. OK, you want that to increase. You know, from the 50, 60 range, they're like, eh, about you, 60, 70. They're like, OK, you know, this guy's pretty cool. 70, 80. They're pursuing you a little bit more and more at each level. Right. And then 80 to 90, they're fucking in love with you. And then 100, they're like asking you to marry them every two fucking seconds, right? So you want to increase your value. You want to increase that number as much as you fucking can. Because when you do, you're not being dumped. Does that make sense? So you got to the point where your value decreased number-wise to the point where she's like, like, if, say her breaking up with you is like a 60, okay? You got to 59 and she's like, yeah, I'm done with this. Like, I don't think I want to be with you anymore. Or maybe that's below 50. It could be, you know, like sometimes people fluctuate. The, they're, they're more in love with you sometimes. You know what I mean? People are fucking weird. But your attraction level to her went below the 50 range. And she decided to back away from you. You have to work on increasing that number back up again if you still want to stay with this chick. So what you got to do is fucking stop breaking your contact because you need to increase your value again. And in my last video, um, I talked about the fear of loss. So the fear of loss is when pe humans value things more when they think that they're going to lose them, right? So money, if you want to put it as a money perspective, if I were to give you $50... You'd be like, cool, thank you. But if you're, but if I, but if you got that fifty dollars stolen from you, you're like, fuck. So that's the whole point. You, humans value things differently. It's it's strange, right? So you have to instill that fear of loss. If you start walking away, she's gonna think that you are going to be lost to some other girl. And then when you actually start implementing no contact correctly, you are going to gain her respect back. Because she'd be like, oh man, he gave me the space that I wanted. Even if she's dating other guys, it's going to be, she's going to still going to hold you in a high regard if you gave that space and walked away like a man, okay? She's going to love you for it. Even if right now she's not in love with you for it. She might come back to you and be like, hey, like, I fucked up. I, she didn't realize your value at the time. But when you show your value like that, she's going to see how valuable of a man you are. Does James Bond chase women? Do you think Will Smith chases, would chase Jada if she left him? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, like you got to think of it like that. Think about those studs that probably get women th fucking, th th women are throwing themselves at them all the time. Think about that shit. Do you think they chase girls? Just think about James Bond. Like, is the easiest is the easiest one. Think of Casino Royale. Think of any of those Bond movies 
when a girl tests him, he just fucking smiles, laughs it off. And he's like, yeah, well, you're going to fuck me later anyways. Fuck cares. Be like that. Remember that, okay? It's so easy once you get to that point in your life where you're that confident about how how you show up as a man. So let's do a quick summary. Number one, you're not fucked. You still have some time to turn this around. Number two, your attraction level went too far below um, a 50. So you need to get that number back up as fast as you can by walking away, increasing your value so she sees how much you're worth. Um, number three, you need to instill that fear in her by doing the no contact, okay? That should part, probably be part of number two. And um, also, what's the very last fucking thing I said? Oh, you're going to gain her respect back at the very end by walking away like a man. And then just keep thinking like James Bond. If you have to, write down um, like JB on your arm. So you see it all the time. And when you do that, you'll be like, oh, yeah, James Bond. It just keeps reminding you to act like that confident, cool man. And go watch some Bond films. All right? And it'll make you feel a little bit better. It helps me. It helped me. I'm at the point where I'm very, I'm cool, right? But you need to get to that point where that strong, centered, confident man, because there's going to be people out there that are going to test that all the time, especially women, because they want to make sure that they're with that strong, centered rock. If they lean on you, you're not going to fall over and you're not going to fucking crack under pressure. They love that shit. It turns them on, right? All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on all my social media, Facebook group, Facebook page, Instagram. Uh, go to my website if you guys want to read any of the blog posts that I put there. And um, if you guys need coaching, some of you really fucking do, and need some serious drilling, um, book. Message me on Instagram first or Facebook or whatever you want. Um, and we'll book a session that way. Um, because I think my, right now my website, I don't think I'm able to actually book anything with, with Stripe or something like that because of uh, my SSL certificate. So I need to add that into my website and then we can do it. But normally you can go to my website and book it right in the coaching section in the top there. And then it'll email me once everything's ready. I've done all the testing, so it should be okay. And if it doesn't work, obviously message me. Social media is out there for a reason. Um, email me. Everything will be below. Join my email list, by the way. If you join the email list, then you'll be able to get all the stuff that I offer for free. Books, um, checklists, PDFs, whatever I come up with to help you guys. Um, like, say I come up with a checklist that's like, oh, these cool, like, you know, the quick tips to blah, blah, blah. And you're going to read it in the day. And maybe that'll instill some confidence in you. Okay. Again, that's it. Take it easy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.